So my name is Cal and I'm building a startup completely from scratch. The idea? A dating app where you actually talk. That's about all I can reveal for now though. My goal is to document every single line of code written from start to finish. The successes and the struggles. As authentically as possible. I wish the people that built Tinder had a series like this and my hope is that one day my app will become an actual competitor to Tinder. So thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy it. All right, uh, this is a new setup. I'm at my parents' holiday house. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna continue where we were yesterday. I don't have that much time today. I'm hoping that we can solve the issue of connecting to users. All right, now we can get back into programming for the app. Okay, I need to catch my breath a little bit, but what we were doing last time is we got the server side to work. So now on the server end or on the back end, we can have two users that sign up for the app and then they're set to be online and available at the same time. If they join the matchmaking thing, they will get connected. And uh, that seemed like it works, but now we need to test it on two actual devices to see if it works on the client side. But since we know that it works on the backend side or the server side, it means that hopefully we only need to configure the front end or the client side to make the calls correct, I think. But I'm not really sure. What I've been dealing with a little bit lately is the fact that when, if this user logs onto the app like a few seconds before this user, then they end up in two separate queues on the back end and they never really see each other. So the, the algorithm that's trying to match them doesn't see that they're both online and available, so they never get sorted into a call together. Which I don't know if we've solved, it seems like we've solved it, but we've also made it so that they both sign up almost at the exact same time, or they log in at the exact same time, which means that there could be issues there. So I'm not confident that we're gonna be able to get a phone call through just now by like running the app as it is, but we're gonna try it and uh, see Ugh. it's really hard to talk whilst also being a little bit winded oh okay that's actually quite interesting we do have a call here for these two users that just logged in so current call this is the call the only thing is that the front end doesn't seem to respond to it unhandled action no okay so i think the issue now might only be that we don't handle or don't receive the right information to the front end maybe because on the back end side here everything works it says that false where they're no longer available for a call which is correct that's what it should say we also get added into this call here we do get the matching lock not sure if we need a matching lock but we get it at least and what i thought now is that these are the two test users that we were doing last time which we only used the back end and we basically hard coded uh, if they're available if they're online all that stuff but we didn't set the matching lock and i thought that the matching lock here was going to fuck up something so that this wouldn't work but this has been set and this has been set and we do have the call if we look here it seems like it works Hmm. <laughs> All right. So we we need to figure out now why why it didn't work on the front end. All right. I think it works. Like as you can see, we have the screen here. We did get man, and on the phone we do get woman. I don't know if you can tell if you can see anything here, but it says woman. So we are actually in a call right now. The only thing that we need to fix is that the profile picture doesn't load the way that it should. Man. Okay, we wanna get the profile picture in the message as well. This video is sponsored by Savala. Savala is an all-in-one platform as a service that's kind of like Heroku, but modern with the 2025 standards that developers expect and without all of the limits. You can deploy applications, databases, object storage, and static sites all in one place, have unlimited collaborators, enjoy parallel builds, and you only pay for what you use. No site license, no fixed tiers, 
no hidden fees and it runs on Google Kubernetes engine and you can select any of the available 25 regions. So performance and reliability are solid and static content is delivered through Cloudflare's Global Edge Network. You also get managed databases, object storage and a really clean developer friendly UI, Git based deploys, preview environments and one click templates. Nice thing is everything's under one roof. So you're not stitching together five different services. And you can try it out right now with $50 in free credits at the link in the video description or just go to savala.com. And thank you so much to Savala for sponsoring this video. All right, I've spent like, I don't know how long, but a long time, way longer than it's supposed to take, trying to fix a problem because I accidentally pasted a different page of code into the main.dart file. So I just removed the main.dart file and then I ran the app and all of a sudden it doesn't work. And I'm like, why doesn't that work? I asked ChatGPT, didn't really use my own brain and asked ChatGPT and Grok and um, they told me that there was some error with the pod file and like all I did all kinds of things, upgraded Flutter and updated everything, did all kinds of things, changed the pod file, did lots of different changes. And then I realized that, well, obviously it doesn't work because I'm using the code in the main.dart file, which uh, it's not good. So now we're back and we can try this again. So we're gonna see what happens if we try to run it. Okay, they did get sorted into a call now, but the UI doesn't update. What we'll do. All right, so it is way past the time that I should have stopped today. Uh, I think, I don't know how many hours I've been going now, but we do connect the two users and we get the name and all that stuff, but we just don't get the profile picture. So for some reason, just getting that seems to be an issue. And I've been trying to deal with it the entire time today. It's basically been the only thing that I've been trying to fix, but we can't seem to load the pictures. Even though we get the URL correctly, it seems like we have some sort of access issue. We can't access that picture for the user. If I am trying to load another user's profile picture, I don't have permission to load that. So I think that's what the issue is. But I know that I've also, in the past here, when I've been trying to build this app out, there was a one stage where we did get the profile picture to show up on both devices, or at least on one of the devices. So one device got the profile picture of another user, which means that I think it should work. I think we're just kind of, there's some issue. I don't know what it is, but there's some issue going on. I'm gonna have to stop now, uh, even though I don't want to. So the three hours per day thing is already gone kind of out the window. And that's why I think I should stop. So I'm gonna stop and come back tomorrow and hopefully we can solve it. Okay, good morning. Um, today, one of the final things that's gonna like tie the whole bag together is gonna be to show the profile picture of the other user. And I wanna be quite open and honest. Yesterday I was thinking about this. There was a little bit of like self-doubt when I started thinking about like, well, how many days now have I spent trying to solve this issue and like basically starting out having something working and then spending the whole day kind of fucking that up only to end up at the end of that day exactly in the same place almost where I started. The self-doubt that kind of creeps in is like, am I just like super slow? Am I just crazy, crazy, crazy slow when trying to build this? Am I like getting absolutely nowhere? And would other people just be able to do this super fast? Like, I don't know how fast I am. I don't know if I'm the, the slowest programmer out there. I don't know if I'm half decent. I think it's important to share that there is definitely self-doubt. There's a, definitely that thought that can come in but I just try to like let it come in and pass it's okay I know I, I like doing this and I have fun doing it and I'm very excited about building the app so even if the self-doubts are true it doesn't actually affect what I think I should do because like even if I'm the worst programmer in the world does that actually change whether I want to continue no it doesn't really change it so today my goal is, and I don't want to have goals like this, because the goal is just to spend X amount of time today, three hours, 
but I do have a goal. And the goal is, I want to see a profile picture today. Hopefully, at the end of this video, we will have a happy cow that says that we can now see the profile picture. Okay, we did it! Finally! We get a profile picture here, and we get a profile picture here. Oh my god, that was slow. I was just using the wrong bucket, I think, for a bit here. Like, there's other issues as well that's been, that we've been dealing with uh, slowly. But one of the main ones has been that we've been trying to get profile pictures from the wrong bucket, which uh, obviously will not work. Yeah, now we can see the profile picture. Well, the next thing is actually to make sure that we can, because right now I think the users have to log on pretty much at the exact same time to be able to be sorted into a call together. Because if I rerun this app, then it will be loading here. Let's say that you wait for like five minutes or something, and then you run it on this device. They have not previously been sorted into a call together again which is a problem. It's kind of a hard thing because if two users have been in a call together previously, then they actually should be sorted together again. In this case, uh, we're trying to simulate two users that have actually never been in a call. They just log on at different times. So one user maybe logs on them in the morning and is just waiting for someone else to log on so they can talk to someone. And then maybe someone else logs on like 30 minutes later. In that case, we want them to be sorted together but right now, it doesn't look like we do that. I'm going to try to run the app now. It's been like maybe a minute or so uh, just to see if they get sorted together. But I don't think they will. And I'm not really sure why they don't, but... Oh, they did get sorted together. Hmm. Now, this is also strange because this device got sorted into the call, but the device on the computer doesn't get sorted into the call. So why is that? Okay, so they are both sorted into the call, but this user doesn't receive the call for some reason. Okay, so I did achieve what I wanted, which is the profile picture showing up, but we still end up pretty much in the same place that we started with, with just this like infinite loading screen. But what we're trying to solve now is the matchmaking only worked on one end. Like I was able to do it if I ran this device first and then I ran the simulator on the computer, which meant that there was some sort of bug because when I tried to run it the other way, all of a sudden they wouldn't match. So uh, there was some issue with the gender and gender preference of the users not being correctly matched. But then we also have another issue on top of that, which is the fact that if the users show up on different times or like one user shows up now and then the user, this user shows up later, then they don't get sorted into the same queue. So we need to have some sort of sorting system that make sure that the latest request is the one that we look at and that we we need to look at the latest request for each user, but we need to look at the oldest request for some sort of user list. So really, I think we need to have some sort of like queue system where we have this user logged on first, so that user should be matched first. And then the second user that logged on should be matched after that. At the same time for each user, we need to make sure that if they do multiple requests to the database, that they don't get higher up in the queue, they should maintain their spot. It's a whole thing, I think, but I don't know if it's I'm making it too complicated or what I'm doing at this point, but it's frustrating because it's I feel like it's so close. I'm just not able to solve it today. And uh, even though all I wanna do is just continue and continue and continue until I've solved it, I know the best idea is to take a break and come back tomorrow.